Hey, welcome to another game development tutorial. Today we're going to be using the Godot engine to make a top-down game. This is part 3, and today we're going to focus on the animations. So, I have my project opened right here, and um, just so you know, I'm not going to go through how to make, you know, top-down uh, animation frames. Uh, I might do a video on that uh, using the A sprite uh, tool, but I'm not going to be teaching that today, so I'm just going to have these ready sprites over here for me so I don't have to make them during the video so the first thing we're gonna want to do is delete this sprite that we created before and we're gonna replace it with an animated sprite node so press the plus button here and type in animated sprite and now go into the inspector and under frames select new sprite frames now click the little arrow next to there and then under animations rename rename default to idle underscore you so we're going to create around eight different animations uh, idle up down left and right and then walk up down left and right which self-explanatory so we're gonna do that for this and then we're gonna insert each of these frames into each one so idle up that would be this one so I can just click and drag that into the animation here and let's actually move this m node up a, a little bit so that it's centered. There we go, that's good. And also let's change the shadow so it's uh, a bit better. Uh, and I'll lift that up. And now I'm going to set the transparency to 0 0.2. There we go, now I have a shadow. Also in my world I changed quite a bit to the map, so don't worry about that. Alright, now go into your animated sprite. Under frames, click that little arrow to go back to editing. Now insert another animation. Let's name this idle underscore D for idle down. And let's add this one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add all four directions for each. For the idle movement, you're gonna add four different directions. And so like idle L and R, add those and then add your sprites. And uh, I'll, I'll speed that up. And now let's create four different directional animations for the um, the walking animation. So let's rename this to walk underscore U, L, and D, and so on and so forth. All right, so now we have all our walking animations. Uh, make sure you have the, in the, an underneath the animations, make sure you have loop on for each of your walking animations. And I'm just going to set my speed uh, frames per second measured uh, to eight. And the... The, the frames I made for this character is re are really bad, so, you know, it's... Yeah, the, the, they won't show up really good. I didn't really try. <laughs> Alright, so now let's exit our sprite frame editor, and let's go into the player script. And now, in our script, we're going to create a few more variables. So, underneath motion speed, press, or uh, add a constant, constant idle speed. This will this value will determine when the player is supposed to run and when it's supposed to walk based on its speed. So now let's add three more variables. Uh, var variable player anim node and now variable anim and now another variable anim new. And now we're going to set these two variables here to a blank string. So just two, two quotation marks. Alright, so next we're going to set our uh, player anim node, our variable player anim node to the animated sprite node. So let's set that variable to get underscore node animated sprite. So now we can call upon functions from the animated sprite in our scene, in our player scene. Alright, so now for, just for organization, I'm going to add another comment that says animations. By the way, these comments do nothing in your code. They're just here to allow you to make annotations in your code. So under the comment animations, just for organization, type if anim is not equal to anim under uh, anim new and 
and colon. Then anim new equals anim. And then player anim node dot play anim. So what this is is it's a type of way to make sure that a when you call upon a function that it doesn't loop over and over again in this fixed process fixed process function here. It makes it so that it repeats one per loop. So that's very useful. Alright, so in between the if statement and the uh, comment add another if statement. Oops. If motion dot length is greater than idle speed multiply by 0 0.09 co uh, colon and then another if statement if input dot is action pressed UI up Let's see we're just gonna calculate the keys that we're pressing here under this if statement then anim equals walk oops um, remember this is a string so you have to make sure you're careful with that walk underscore you and so what this will do is it'll see when when the uh, player is pressing up and the speed of the player is also greater than the idle speed the constant variable that we just sent so that'll make it so that it'll play this animation walk up. Now another if statement UI down colon m equals walk down and now save this and make sure that you do this for left and right. I'm just gonna skip ahead. Alright, so now that you have the control for the walking animations down, we're going to add an else statement after the if statement before, and we're going to say if ray node, remember this is why the ray node uh, variable was important before, get underscore rote, rot d, or rotational degree. Get ray node, get rotational degree, if it equals 180, then anim will equal idle idle up and now do this with all the other directions as well because you have them all right here negative 90, 0, and 180 and 90 so make sure you do it with all of that so let's test this out alright so it seems to be working I told you these animations were bad that I made. <laughs> um, so, yeah, this is how you make that. And now let's actually make the screen resize when we resize our application. So, project settings, display, stretch mode to viewport, and then stretch aspect to keep. Now let's actually run this again so that you can look at everything enlarged. Alright, so uh, if you like this video, leave a like. If you disliked it, leave a dislike. And let me know if you want part 4. Let me know, uh, part 4 would be on shadows and stuff. Uh, let me know if you want that. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, bye.